Hello everyone, welcome to our video on chemical and physical change. In order to better understand chemical and physical change, I wanted to start with physical and chemical properties. So physical properties are properties that can be observed or measured without changing the identity of the matter. Some examples of this are the color, smell, size, density, the state, solid, liquid, or gas, malleability. This is if something can be flattened, so this is an example. Play-Doh is very easy to flatten, uh, while iron is not. It's not very malleable. Uh, solubility. If you can dissolve something, something like salt dissolves very easily in water, uh, while flour does not. Thermal conductivity. Does it conduct heat? Something like metal conducts heat very well, something like cloth did not. And viscosity, which is how thick something is. Something like molasses has a very high viscosity, while something like water has a very low viscosity. Now, chemical properties describe a substance's ability to change into a new and different substance. So some examples, flammability. If something can light on fire very quickly, it's very likely to change into something different. Reactivity, such as baking soda and vinegar, you put those together and they immediately react with each other. Uh, oxidation. This is its ability to react with oxygen. So think about rust. Rust uh, forms when iron reacts with oxygen and it takes a long time to do that. Okay, so physical change and chemical change. I'm actually going to start with chemical change. A chemical change is a change where the elements rearrange to form something new. The identity of the substance is different. So we'll get more into this stuff a little bit later, but let's take water as an example. H2O. Okay, So elements can bond together and they form a compound. So H2O means it has two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom, but it can react and separate. Now we have one oxygen atom and two hydrogen atoms. Now water at room temperature is a liquid, right? We're pretty familiar with water, but oxygen at room temperature by itself, not bonded with hydrogen, is a gas that we breathe. Same thing with hydrogen. It's a gas at room temperature. So it reacted in order to separate, and now a lot of these different properties are different. Some things can be the same. Sometimes when they react, um, something like color might change or might not change. Um, but a lot of the time, a lot of these physical properties do change when a chemical change has happened. So physical change is the opposite. It's a change where the elements do not rearrange. And the identity is the same. So something like ripping a paper in half, right? It's still made of paper. Uh, taking a copper block and melting it down into wires. It's still copper. Um, cracking an egg. Even though it's broken, it's still an egg. Um, if the identity of the object is the same, even if it's gone through a change, then it was a physical change. Now, one thing people get hung up on a lot is if something's reversible. That actually has nothing to do with if it's a chemical or physical change. Some chemical changes can be reversed. Some physical changes can be reversed. Some chemical changes cannot be reversed. And the same thing, some physical changes can't be reversed. So if it can't be reversed or can be reversed, don't get hung up on that. It doesn't really matter. Okay, Could be chemical or physical regardless of if it can be uh, reversed. All right, that's all for today. Our next video, we will be talking more about 
this beautiful stuff, chemical reactions. Have a great day, everyone.